Yeah, my arena guys, good morning. The uh, sun's just coming up. The, I'm just looking for the time zero system. So I've got dual systems running. Um, on the uh, right hand side, I've just uh, got 3D as we come into the coast. You can see the different sea mounts uh, I'm steaming past as we come in towards the coastline. And over here, I've just been, uh, I just got the latest download on the uh, Ocean O premium service. So uh, I've just been having a look at that. And uh, I'll just show you the difference between, so this is a sea surface temp. So if we look at the sea surface temp around here, uh, you can see I've got a, a, a couple of interesting areas around here. But if we uh, switch over to uh, sea water temperature, I can adjust the, to, to layers. Um, so uh, down here at the layer depth, I could have a look at uh, what's happening down and uh, let's have a look at uh, 500 metres. So 500 metres you can see there's a warm area down here. In the 500 metre area, uh, let's go back up to say 100 metres. It's completely moved. So, uh, and this is a thing that's uh, very, very crucial to us uh, commercial guys is uh, we're not shooting hard on the surface, so if we go back to uh, sea surface temp, it's a totally different picture. So you can see down here, there's your, there's your sea surface temp. So if you're looking solid, your, your temperatures, you'd be going right. Oh, I want to string a line along along this edge, or I want to start the start the cold and shoot up into the into the warmer stuff and have a look uh, to try and get a pattern on what's going on. Um, or you can go over to your uh, take the sea surface temp off and just go to uh, your multi layers, and it's a whole different, whole different picture. So you're, you're you've been basing your decisions on what you're seeing on the sea surface temperature, but uh, if your gear is hanging down, say 50 meters, let's go and have a look at 40 meters. Um, this patch of water, and you can still see the ISO lines there. So you can see the lines. That's uh, the ISO lines for the uh, sea surface temperature. But if you have a look um, at 50 metres, you actually want to be over here or up on this convergence up here. So uh, what you're seeing on the surface is obviously not what you're seeing uh, 100 metres, 500 metres down. Let's have a look at 220 metres. Whole different ball game. So if you can imagine the sag in your gear, uh, particularly if we're up inside the Coral Sea, um, we're, shoot, we're deep setting say 300 metres down, um, you want to be looking at your Type Zero Ocean O uh, and looking at your multi layers, you know. So uh, you would be looking at, say, areas like up here, um, as opposed to, as I say, the uh, sea surface temp, which is giving you a whole different picture. So, yeah, that's just another feature of the uh, premium service, the uh, Time Zero Ocean O premium service, is that uh, you can get your multi layers and uh, start overlay, overlaying things so in future videos I'll show you what's going on with uh, your chlorophyll, um, sea surface temp, your shear, currents and kind of sea surface height anomalies and uh, how we can set these all up as presets so yeah you know, it's just a fantastic system and, and uh, I'm uh, like everyone else the more you use it the, uh, the more you learn so uh, Although I've been using this geez, since it first came out, really. Um, since it first became available in New Zealand, uh, I got it off the great team at uh, Electronic Navigation. And uh, they are silver dealers in New Zealand uh, for no dealership. And um, yeah, as I say, I've been using Time Zero ever since uh, with the help of Fruno New Zealand and Fruno Australia. So uh, yeah, very impressive.